First on five, tonight we are taking a closer look at a mysterious illness sparking concern with the CDC. It's called acute flaccid myelitis and quickly causes patients to lose motor functions in their arms and legs. We reported on a girl with a similar but less dangerous condition last night. News 5's Brianna Hollis spoke with a doctor in Baldwin County about how he's addressing the issue. Doctors here are taking this condition very seriously. Of course, it's extremely debilitating, but they also don't panic over this. I'd say you got a whole lot more trouble getting in an accident than you ever get in this disease. It occurs one time in a million. Thomas Hospital Medical Director emphasizing the rareness of a child getting acute flaccid myelitis or AFM. Now, the Alabama Health Department is investigating three possible cases. None of them are confirmed yet, though. While chances of getting it are low, McBrady does recognize the risks are high. It's scary when it occurs, but it's rare. For instance, as we reported yesterday, an Orange Beach girl was diagnosed with a similar condition, transverse myelitis, which also causes a debilitating loss in motor function. However, her illness has a much higher recovery rate. AFM comes on quickly. Patients suddenly and unexpectedly lose the ability to move their arms and legs. But doctors want to make sure parents know the difference between general fatigue and flu symptoms and an actual case of AFM. You don't want to run to the ER to your doctor because somebody looks tired. But this is an aching and not necessarily much fever. This is just, the kid is just flaccid. I mean, the arms don't work, the legs don't work. His concerns are less about the uptick in cases. He is more worried about how little the medical field knows about where it comes from. And we'll keep up with the state's health department to see if any of those possible cases do end up getting confirmed. Reporting in Fairhope, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.